let's go to Aldi. Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Today I'm going to take you along as I do my grocery shopping for the week at Aldi. Let me know in the comments below if you love grocery shopping at Aldi as well. Then I'll take you back to the house. We will do a haul and even do some meal prepping for the week too. So grab yourself a coffee and let's head into Aldi. Got my quarter and my bags and I'm ready to head inside. First stop is produce. Aldi has the best price for produce. This bag of sweet potatoes was $1.77 this week. I needed some bananas. I love their honey crisp apples. I stuck up on the produce. You cannot go wrong. I was going to pick up a pineapple, but I got a few last week. So it was a really good price on pineapple too. I also picked up this ginger last week too. Ginger root for $1.99. Their potatoes are also such a great, great deal on all of their produce. You can't beat it. I grabbed some broccoli, their Brussels sprouts. I also got some of these grapes, they're delicious. I love that they have a variety of herbs too. I love their green onions for like less than a dollar, you can't go wrong. And I love these little cukes. I've been enjoying like the mini cukes. Their seeded breads are excellent as well. And these almond flour crackers are so good. I love them. I didn't get them this week, but they're really good too. I've enjoyed this coffee. We've actually enjoyed this coffee. It's their classic roast. I needed some quick cook oats for a recipe this week, so I picked those up too. Maple syrup for sourdough pancakes, got those. I haven't tried this pancake mix, but it's probably like that Kodiak mix too. Wayne loves granola. Um, I didn't pick any up this week, but this one is really, really good. And I love their granola cereals too. The kids and Wayne still enjoy the cereal bar that I set up in the pantry. I needed some new cereal for the jar, so I picked up some honey grams. I'm making Greek chicken bowls this week. Um, I have olives already at home or I would have picked up these. I always buy their toilet paper and paper towels. I'm set on that though this week and I love their guacamole singles. They're so good. I get them all the time, but I didn't need those. I also love these pickles too. I didn't need any this week, but these are a must try. I love that they even have the shredded chicken too and this thick cut cheese. I always get their organic half and half, but they were out and I love the cage free eggs too. I just got home from Aldi, got everything unloaded. So I'm gonna show you here in just a minute everything that I got and tell you my meal plan for the week. I ended up spending $230, which covers breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks for the week for a family of four, two adults, and two teenagers, 13 going on 14. We also homeschool too, so they are home for lunch as well. So breakfast and lunch is pretty loose. It's for breakfast, it's either pancakes, I do sourdough pancakes a lot, I'll scramble some eggs, I have some bacon, easy, even like cereal or oatmeal, fruit, smoothies, simple. Uh, same goes for lunch, they're not big like sandwich kids, so we usually just have leftovers or I have like a few little things planned out in case they're like, mom, make something for lunch, but it's either very, very simple too. I have dinner planned out, snacks here, drinks here, uh, so 2.30 for the week I thought was pretty good, so I'm going to flip you around, show you everything I got, and show you my meal plan for the week as well. I'm gonna do my best to keep everything in order, but I'm gonna show you first what I like to do. This is just my method of meal planning that I've done for years. So I like to keep a binder, and then in my binder, I have all the recipes that I'm gonna make for the week, and then even little things that I put in my notes of recipes that I like loosely make up and, and make weekly, like my Big Mac salad is one of my favorite things like that. So I like to keep it in the binder just because I can easily refer to it, make notes in it easily kind of is just a mental reminder for me of what I'm making, what I'm prepping ahead, because I like to prep most of my meals for the day, like either the night before or the morning. So when it comes to dinner, I'm not racing around. So we're going to get dinner prepped for tonight even um, after I show you my haul too. I got a couple packs of chicken. I even have some chicken in the freezer too. So I got a couple fresh packs. One is to make Greek chicken bowls. They're so good. My family loves them. We're going to actually be prepping them here after I show you my haul. I like to marinate it in the speedy sauce too. And then we serve it with rice. I do cauliflower rice for myself and then just olives and tomatoes and cucumbers and tzatziki sauce and Greek dressing. It's delicious. And then the other one is for the marry me chicken type of recipe, but I kind of do my own little style on that too. And then I even have, like I said, some chicken in the freezer to as a backup as well. 
I picked up a couple packs of their ground beef. I love their organic ground beef. It's such a reasonable price too. I think it's like $5.29 for a pound. So reasonable for their organic uh, grass-fed ground beef. So I have two of those. One is for, let me look at my recipe because I can't remember the exact name, the Asian ground beef and rice bowls that I'm gonna be making. So for one, the other recipe that I have maybe for even going into next week. So I like to even have stuff going into possibly even next week as well is uh, Mongolian ground beef ramen bowls too, which is on the menu coming up. So I grabbed that. So if I don't use it for Big Mac bowls, I have it for that. Then I also got a pork, which this is their half butt por uh, pork roast. And I got this to make the Dr. Be Dr. Pepper pulled pork. It's so easy, you guys. My kids love it. And then what I'd like to do with that is because they won't eat all of the pork or we won't eat all of the pork. I'm going to do mine on sweet potatoes. For the family, I have rolls. And what I also like to do is I'll take that shredded pork once it's cool and I'll freeze half of it too. So then I have it in the freezer and then I have that even for lunches, you know, maybe next week, you know, you want to pull pork sandwich or even like down the road. So it makes great freezer, um, a freezer recipe too. So I have the pulled pork here. Then I also picked up some of their bacon, uh, which I like to have on hand either to whip up a BLT, Eden does like those for time to time or for lunch or for breakfast too. And then I got their ground beef uh, big pack, which is over two pounds of their uh, ground beef, which or ground turkey, excuse me. And that is to make little mini turkey meatloaves. Um, and then, like I said, I might use some of it for ground to ground up, cook ahead to make my Big Mac salads, which I love. I prefer doing the turkey, but I do do the beef too, but depends on how much of this I'm gonna use for the little mini meatloaves. I'll link all the recipes down below that I'm making too. Um, they're just really simple, easy, good, family, fr family friendly recipes. So that is pretty much all in the meat department that I have for the week. Moving on to dairy, I picked up some butter because we needed some butter. Plus I plan on prepping some chocolate chip cookies. I love prepping the dough ahead. I think I've shared that before too. I'll link the recipe as well because then I freeze the dough and then I can just pull out the dough, maybe, you know, four or six little ones and pop them in the oven for fresh chocolate chip cookies. It's so easy. I don't think I'm going to make it today uh, just because I've done the shopping and I'm going to prep dinner, but I might do that those tomorrow. But like I said, I'll link that recipe too. Always a good little snack are these little creamy garlic and herb little wedges. There's only like 25 calories in them. They're so good. Uh, just a quick little snack too. I love these. So I got those. Um, Wayne and Tyler love the mozzarella cheese string. So I picked up that. They sometimes have the organic, but they didn't have the organic today. So I didn't get that. We needed some cheese. So I got some shredded mozzarella uh, to have. Then I also got some uh, medium cheddar. This is like that thick cut farmhouse style uh, they had too. So I picked up some of that. I often like to shred my own, but sometimes you guys, it's just, you know, makes it easy to have it already shredded. So I have that as well. And then Parmesan cheese, they love, <laughs> my kids love like fresh Parmesan cheese. So I get, usually get the block and then they freshly shred it. So I needed some, I was all out. So I picked that up too. And then cottage cheese, I'm actually making Pinky Winky and I'll probably prep that today. Um, it's so easy because I have the rest of the ingredients over there. Wayne loves it. It's so easy. It's so good. <laughs> So um, I'll show you how to make that. And so I needed some cottage cheese. The only thing they don't have at Aldi is the raspberry jello you need, but, um, but I picked that up too. So I got that. And then also too, every time I go to Aldi, like this is like a weekly thing. I always have to pick up one of their, like their little cakes. Tyler loves their chocolate cake in like their little bakery section next to the bread. It's like $4.99, but he's kind of like over that. So they also love their little cheesecake. It's like $5. So I picked that up and they, the kids love it. So I got that. And then also too, in that little area section, I got a can of their jumbo biscuits. This is to make the pepperoni pizza muffins. They're on my blog too. They're so easy. So this is like one of those loose lunch items that I got. So if they're hungry, I can make those. They actually love making them. So uh, they'll make that. So that's why I also have the pepperoni. So, and that's why I have the mozzarella so they can make that. So that is pretty much with the dairy. If I miss, miss something, I, you know, I'm trying to go like, as I try to go in order. So that is all for the dairy section. And then as far as drinks go, their raspberry and strawberry, I got the strawberry this week. There's, they have a raspberry too. It's so good. It's like a dollar 99. Wayne loves it. The kids love it. So I got that. And then I go between their regular orange juice and their organic orange juice 
So I just picked up the regular today. Uh, what's this behind? Oh, I needed mandarin oranges uh, for the, the pinky winky. And I got this instead of the one that's in the can just because I like that this one is in 100% fruit juice. So I'll need a few of those for the um, pinky winky. Um, they had the can too, but I just preferred that. So I got that. And then I needed some pasta. One of the recipes we're making this week, well, it's been like on a weekly thing for like the last three weeks now. They love like this easy hamburger helper. You know, guys, it's it's so good. It's such a good, easy recipe too. Um, I'll link it below. We don't do the zucchini in it, um, but it's easy. So I needed some pasta. So I got some of their rotini and then also some penny as well. And then I wanted to try their hearts of palm linguine. I haven't tried it yet. So let me know in the comments if you've tried it. Uh, it looked really good. So I plan on trying that for myself. And then another snack for myself, one of my favorites, my mom actually got me hooked on these. They're so good, um, are the coconut cashew uh, crisps. They are so good. And there is 170 calories for like eight little cookies. And they're delicious. They're crispy and yummy. Um, all really good ingredients in it. It's got your cashews, coconut sugar, cassava flour, sea salt. They're delicious. I love them. And then I also picked up their, their carb control um, wraps, their flour tortillas, which only have 60 calories, four net carbs, high fiber. Um, I love having these on hand to either make a quesadilla or you know to wrap up with some meat super yummy and delicious and low calorie too so i like those as well i just needed some more maple syrup because like i said i make sourdough pancakes a lot i actually have my starters right over there so um needed some more maple syrup and it's such a affordable price at aldi too and then i needed some they were all out of the their bone or their beef stock so i just picked up their uh their bone broth and that was for the um like the hamburger helper and I needed it I because I still have some in the refrigerator but I also needed it for one of the other recipes I think the um, Asian style ground beef and rice so I just picked up a, one more just to have two same goes for ketchup needed some ketchup too so I grabbed that the white wine vinegar is for the pesto chicken um, it's a sheep pan meal and I just loosely toss it together really easy with just that and I, I love homemade pesto, but this is a really good jarred pesto. It's so good. I just put the chicken in a Ziploc bag. I add a little bit of pesto, a splash of the white wine vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic powder, let it marinate all day and then pop it on a sheet pan along with some veggies, even some potatoes and roast those all together. It's so easy, so delicious. It's kind of just one of those things that I loosely throw together. And then I also needed some chocolate chips to make those chocolate chip cookies like I mentioned, and I was out of chocolate chips. And then these are the brioche rolls for the pulled pork sandwiches. Um, so I grabbed those. And then also some of their mini bagels, just easy to grab or even for a snack, the kids like those. Also for snacks too, I grabbed the cashews. Eden loves cashews, so I got the big thing of cashews. And then I needed for the little mini meatloaves, I needed some quick oats. I only had the old fashioned, so I got a big thing of the quick oats. So I'll use those up for other things too. And then some other snacks, they love Nilla wafers. And I love the Nilla wafers along with at Aldi, which we already have, is the strawberry cream cheese. And you use that for like a little snack. You just take some of the strawberry cream cheese, you can dip it in there. It's so good. So if you're looking for a quick, easy, and yummy snack, Nilla wafers and strawberry cream cheese is delicious. And then I, they were kind of burnt out of some of the cereals I had. So I just grabbed some of the honey grams uh, to just put in our little cereal uh, containers that we have in the pantry. And Wayne and Tyler love these, these little calzones. They have a few different uh, flavors, uh, but the pepperoni one is the ones that they usually go for. So I just grabbed a couple, again, for some loose lunches so if they're hungry they can have something that they can just easily grab also low on coffee so i grabbed their coffee this is really good coffee we switched from the keurig back to just a regular classic coffee maker and we've enjoyed this coffee so it's really a good coffee too i also grabbed their tomato basil pasta sauce it's so good and it's all clean ingredients too so really good price for that and then i also grabbed some sweet potatoes this big bag was a dollar 77 I'm gonna be doing it with the pulled pork, but I also love roasting the uh, sweet potatoes too. So really good buy on the uh, sweet potatoes. 
I got a bag of the coleslaw for the pulled pork. And then I also got some mixed greens for salads. I got some potatoes to use for one of the sheep pan chickens. I got some fruit just for snacks. The autumn crisp. And then some blackberries are really good too. I needed some bananas, which I love having. And then also too, strawberries. We go through a lot of strawberries in this house. So I always have them cut up for snacks or just whatever. So um, I got a couple of those as well as a bag of the honey crisp apples too. I got a bag of spinach, which is great for my smoothies. I grabbed some of their romaine, which I'll clean, wash, and chop up. So I have that for salads. I like to use this for the Big Mac salad, which is so good. And then also some uh, broccoli, whether I steam that. I did get some frozen broccoli too, because I like to have that on hand. Um, but these are just big broccoli crowns. So sometimes I'll roast those up. I like to eat it raw too. So sometimes it's just for snacking and to have. And then also too, their green onions, uh, just to kind of garnish some dishes with. And then I got some Brussels sprouts for the sheet pan chicken too. So that was that. And then I also got some onions. I got some of their angel sweet tomatoes. And that is for the Greek bowls along with their, I love these little cukes, these little cucumbers, they're mini cucumbers. So those are for the Greek bowls too. And then for his frozen, I ended up getting a bag of their cauliflower uh, rice. That's just for me. Everybody else will do regular rice. And then some broccoli florets because I just like to have these on hand for a quick little side dish. Uh, and then the sweet peas are actually for the Asian um, ground beef and rice uh, dish that I'm making and I'll link that recipe below and then some strawberries also for smoothies and my family loves ice cream for dessert So I got some strawberry ice cream Vanilla ice cream and then I picked up these ice cream bars. I haven't gotten these in a long time So I got these too. I'm gonna put everything away before I prep tonight's dinner and make that pinky winky But I wanted to mention to you too is their organic milk. Let me know if you've tried this. It is delicious It's creamy delicious of course organic. So another must try from Aldi too. I'm gonna get everything put away. I'm putting the potatoes in this basket and I'm gonna fill this jar with the cereal. This pantry makeover that we did a few weeks ago, we are still loving it. It has been working out so well. I'm prepping dinner for tonight, but I'm also having a little snack because I haven't eaten all day. These are so good. I get them all the time. They are such a little treat. You have to try them if you've not tried them at all yet. So tonight I'm making Greek chicken bowls. They're so good. I just have my chicken here. I love picking up this sauce at Aldi. I also love Chevetta's, which is a local sauce too. It's really good, but I'm just in a pinch and I want to get everything at Aldi. This is a nice alternative and very similar to the Chevetta. So if you can find it at your Aldi too, grab it. I have some olives now. I normally get them at Aldi, but I had these on hand. So I'm going to use those first. Feta, which I had from last week uh, from Aldi. And then I had some tzatziki sauce, which is not Aldi, but they have it at Aldi. This is uh, boar's head. So I just had that on hand because we make these bowls all the time. So I'm gonna get my chicken marinated. So they marinate all day. Now you can grill the chicken. I honestly like to bake it. So I pop mine in a 375 degree oven for about 40 minutes until it's done. Just check it with your little thermometer. And then I slice it up and it's just so tender and juicy. That's the way I like to cook it, but you can grill it or saute it, whatever you wanna do. And then I'm just gonna make my quick little salad, of tomato, cucumber, a little bit of red onion to serve on the side. So I put it on a bed of rice and chop up the chicken or slice up the chicken and then add the a little tomato and cucumber salad on the side drizzle it with some tzatziki and some feta a little bit of greek dressing which i'm also going to make and add the olives too it's so good i'm going to do it with the cauliflower rice but everybody else does the the white rice and i do the white rice in the instant pot so eight, i put two cups of rice plus two cups water Eight minutes in the Instapot, 10 minutes on, um, let it just sit, naturally release, and then I turn it off and perfect white rice every time. So really the only thing I use my Instapot for is for, is for rice because it makes such great rice. So I'm going to just get my chicken out here. 
See if it needs to be trimmed at all. Looks pretty good. Pop it in my bag. Instant Pot rice is the way to go. Really the only thing I use my Instant Pot for. I don't even hard boil eggs in my Instant Pot anymore. I used to, but now I use my air fryer even for hard boiled eggs. This all looks pretty good. All right, chicken looks good. I love this chicken from Aldi. Let me wash my hands. Chicken is back, so I'm gonna add some of this dressing or marinade. It's really good. And I just eyeball it. That's good. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper too. All right, add some salt. And I'll get the pepper. And I also like to cook it in the oven, then I don't have to babysit it. I just pop it in the oven. I can do something else. Rice is cooking, chicken's cooking, salad's done. It's effortless. So whatever I can do, if I'm grilling it or if I'm cooking it on the stove, you still gotta kind of babysit it. So this is so easy. So I got the chicken marinating, I'll marinate all day long. It smells really good. And again, this is the sauce I'm using. It's so good. If you can get Chevetta's, it's really, really good too. And I'll grab that from time to time. But like I said, if I'm doing just an Aldi trip and I don't want to go anywhere else, this is a nice alternative. So chicken's done. Let me put this in the refrigerator. Getting another one of these cookies because they're so good. They're just so tasty. And there's a few different flavors too. I think there's a chocolate, salted caramel. I love the vanilla. Another thing with the rice too, if you don't want to do the Instant Pot rice, of course you can do minute rice or just cook the rice, you know, normally. But even Aldi has like a little bag, 90 second rice too. My family, my kids, I don't mind it, but my kids like the Instant Pot rice. So I've tried those in a pinch too and they just, they know the difference. So, but they even have at Aldi too, like the quinoa, um, all those 90 second little rices too, which make it even easier too, but I just do the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna make a quick little salad. I don't need the olives because I just put those in a bowl for topping. And then this is the feta and the tzatziki. I don't need those, so let me put those in the refrigerator. I don't know where my tomato knife went. So I'm just gonna slice these up. I've already rinsed them off, washed them off. I just like to kind of slice them like this. This knife actually works pretty good too. I usually have a tomato knife that I slice them with. So I'm just gonna slice these tomatoes in half. Okay, that's good with the tomatoes for now. I'm gonna save those for salads. And then these cute little cucumbers. I'm gonna rinse a couple of them off and slice them up too. So I have a couple of these cute little cucumbers. I'm just gonna quickly peel them. And now I'm just gonna slice them up. We're gonna do one more cucumber. I love cucumber, so we'll do one more. But I'm loving these mini ones and they're such a good price at Aldi. All right, so let me just slice that up. I love cucumber. There we go. And finally, I'm gonna add a little bit of red onion, just a little. Add a little bit more. Here is the tomato and cucumber salad. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper and drizzle it with a little bit of homemade Greek dressing. It is so good. Aldi does sell a really good Mediterranean dressing, but this one is so easy and so good. And then I like to also have that dressing to drizzle on the Greek bowls too. So you'll have this, the olives, the feta, the tzatziki, the rice, the chicken, and then drizzling it on top is just like the icing on the cake. So let's whip that up, add a little bit to this, and then have the rest for dinner. So I'm gonna make the Greek dressing. I have a mason jar that I'm gonna store it in. I'm gonna start with a clove of garlic that I'm going to mince up. This is so easy, and it's the best Greek dressing. 
and prepping it ahead makes it so much nicer. So then I'm not doing like the five o'clock shuffle. I'm worried about it. When dinner comes, it's already done. So I have one minced garlic. I'm gonna add a half a cup of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Thereabouts. Add that in. Next, I'm going to add three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Along with a half a lemon juice. I love the smell of the fresh lemon. About one tablespoon, a little bit of Dijon, about a half a teaspoon, a little bit of oregano, dried oregano, about a teaspoon, and then some salt and pepper. You can season that to taste. So super easy, you can even double the recipe, just the minced garlic, olive oil, red wine vinegar, lemon, Dijon, oregano, salt, and pepper. It's so good. Give it a good, good shake. Mmm. Oh, it smells amazing. So I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit on the salad and save the rest for dinner. I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit because I love saving it to drizzle on top of the Greek bowls. So just a little bit, just to soak in that flavor. It's amazing. And it's even nicer when you have it already prepped. So I like to prep either the night before or in the morning. Just have my plan, get it prepped so it makes dinner so much easier. Let me add a little bit of salt and pepper on top too. Add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Of course, taste a little bit too. Mmm. So fresh and delicious, perfect for the Greek bowls. So I'm gonna put a lid on this, pop it in the refrigerator, and it will soak up that dressing even more. And that's all prepped and ready for dinner. Next up, I'm making Pinky Winky. It's such a good recipe, you guys. It goes back years and years. Wayne's been asking for it, so I'm going to whip it up for him in my large bowl. He needs 16 ounces of cottage cheese. I'm not a big cottage cheese fan, but this is really good. So this is 24 ounces, so I'm not gonna add it all. And then to that, you need a packet of raspberry jello, just the packet. I'm using a sugar-free one, and you're gonna mix that in with the cottage cheese. Now I'm gonna fold in the pineapple, crushed pineapple. You wanna drain it, but you can save that pineapple juice so you can drain it into like a little mason jar. And then you get about a quarter cup of pineapple juice that you could use for something else or put it in the freezer. Because sometimes you use recipes that need pineapple juice, maybe just a little bit. And if you just put in a little jar or even in a freezer bag, then you have it in your freezer. Then I need my mandarin oranges, but like I said, I got these because I like that they weren't in uh, light syrup. So I'm just gonna add those drained as well. You need at least, uh, 11 ounces. I just used two of them. Mix that in, fold it in. And then lastly, you need a thing of Cool Whip Thawed or Whip Topping. You can get the Aldi kind. I actually had this in my freezer, so. I think it was actually from Thanksgiving. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to use that up. So I'm gonna fold it in a little bit at a time and mix it all up. Oh, it's so good. It's like an ambrosia, but just really, really good. And so easy and you get the cottage cheese. It's such a good light snack. And like I said, I am not a cottage cheese person, but this I like. Yummy, you better hide that. <laughs> Wayne already sees that I'm making this. You guys, this is so good. Like I mentioned, I'm not a big cottage cheese person, but this, 
I can get behind. It's delicious. Perfect for spring and summer. Perfect for a spring or summer picnic. You got to try it. It's like an orange fluff, but not orange. It's got the raspberry. If you've made a similar dish to this, let me know what you've called it. We've just always called it Pinky Winky. Kitty even likes it. <laughs> so you got to try this. I'm going to put it in a prettier bowl. Since I just mixed that, I'll just pop that in the dishwasher. Let me get a bowl. Wayne is so happy I made this. It really is good. This will not last long. I've not made it in a while when he asked for it. So you know it's good when he asked for it. So that, you guys, is Pinky Winky. Now let's make the Greek chicken bowls for dinner tonight. I'm taking my marinated chicken, putting it on a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm gonna bake it in a 375 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes until the chicken is cooked thoroughly. I'm also going to make the rice like I suggested before. You could buy the 90 second rice packets at Aldi. I'm doing it in the Instapot. I'm adding two cups of white rice along with two cups of water to my Instapot. And I'm gonna cook this on high pressure for eight minutes, then let it naturally release for 10 minutes. While dinner is cooking and I have everything already prepped for that, I have a few extra minutes. So I'm going to wash my berries that I picked up earlier at the store. So I'm gonna add my strawberries to a bowl. I add a little bit of vinegar and I'm gonna soak it in some cold water for just a few minutes and then rinse them off. I soak them for only a few minutes and then rinse them off and then I will set them aside to dry. Once they are dry, I will slice them in half and put them in a storage container in the refrigerator to enjoy throughout the week. Let me know in the comments how you like to wash and clean your produce. I try to avoid the grocery stores on the weekends, so I do my meal prepping either on Fridays or Mondays. If you like to meal prep too, let me know in the comments what day of the week do you like to meal prep? I have been meal prepping for years, and if you followed me on Facebook years ago, you've probably even caught me doing some live meal prepping. I've kind of done my own thing now, adapted my own way of meal prepping, and it just gets my week started on the right foot every week I meal prep. I'm gonna clean the grapes the same way. I add a little bit of vinegar, some cold water, let them soak for a few minutes, and then I will rinse them off. And the thing that I love about meal prepping and meal planning is that I have just everything planned out for the week. I don't have each day what I'm gonna be making, but just knowing that I have X amount of meals ready to go for the week, and then I can decide each day or the night before what I wanna make, and I have everything ready to go. Speaking of everything ready to go, now the rice is done. I add a little bit of butter to the rice too. The kids love it that way but I'm also making my cauliflower rice, which is really, really good. Now it's time to pull the chicken out of the oven. So I love being able to get other things done while other things are cooking. It's just, I love multitasking and getting a lot done in a period of time. And I'm checking the temperature of my chicken. It is done, it is perfect. So I'm gonna slice it up. The kids are actually gonna have some broccoli with theirs. They didn't want the tomato. So I love these broccoli florets. I always have them in the freezer. I needed a few bags, so that's why I picked them up because it's just easy for meal meals like this. And I'm gonna cut up the chicken. I'm doing Wayne and I's bowls now. I have the cauliflower rice that I also add in some of the Parmesan cheese to, and it's so good. I'm gonna add the olives, the tomatoes, and cucumber salad, along with a little bit of feta, the tzatziki sauce, drizzle it with that Greek dressing. Then I also like to do my little herb trifecta. Well, it's not a trifecta, I only have the basil and mint, but I sometimes like to add cilantro too. So I have a herb duo, and I sprinkle that on top of mine too, and it's delish. Grocery shopping is done for the week. Dinner is prepped for tonight and the Pinky Winky is made. 
I will prep the rest of the dinners for the week, either the night before or the morning of. Again, I like to keep everything in my binder, all the recipes that I'm making for the week so I can easily refer to them, even the chocolate chip cookies. I'll be making those tomorrow just to kind of space everything out. And I'll link that recipe below too because I love freezing that dough. So I have fresh chocolate chip cookies to grab anytime the kids want them, it's so good. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite recipe to make with all the ingredients is, is. I would love to know. I hope this gave you some Aldi inspo. Give it a big thumbs up if it did. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.